What's up, Migas gang? We are It's Amigas. And today, guys, we're going to... I forgot to introduce you. Kind of chill. You just... And today, we have a special... <laughs> Come on, Mary Migas. That was real chilly. That oh, was dude. real chilly. <laughs> we have a special guest that I always forget to introduce. Um, What's your name again? For real, you know what I'm Sabella. What is it? I forgot. He's being acting real, real, I don't know. Sorry, guys. Um, my name is uh, Sabe. Um, you might know me, you might not know me, but uh, subscribe to my channels, uh, Being Inspiration and Sabe Entertainment, and uh, follow me on my social media platform. Today, yeah. we're going to ask our special guest, what's a good topic for our mukbang? I got a topic. What? So go ahead. Because I'm um, I can't be Do ready. you have a problem with... It's two questions, actually. You could make it a two-part thing, but... I'll use the other one for my video. Okay. Um, the first question is, um, probably some mukbang is, is it a problem if your significant other does or does not post you on social media? And why is it or why is it not? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's a good topic. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of private, so I don't really post nobody that. You post my computer. Yeah, my phone, nah, I don't really do honestly, it. Honestly, like, I, I use just stuff. Do it and like people were all up in my business all the time, so it's just like you post Michael B. Jordan though. You see, but he's not real babe, but well, no, he is. He could, but, but he could be. Um, I just feel like it depends on the relationship. Mm. Like yeah. honest, obviously you shouldn't be with somebody you don't trust. Blah blah blah. Not post like crazy, like you know if you want to post yeah. a few yeah. pictures. I don't post no pictures personally. That's yeah. because I'm very secure in the relationship that I am. Like. Mm -hmm. Just because of the same reason that Jenny says I'm private, my business is my business. Exactly. I don't need to post a picture to prove anything. Mm -hmm. But some some relationships is just like you gotta like I don't know. You know some niggas be fish. <laughs> but is it oh, is it necessary for someone to post somebody? It's not no, necessary. Not necessary. I don't think so. What would you say to someone who says it is? Well, I had I was with someone yeah, that like, kind of was like super what? insecure and was like oh why don't you post me but when you go to new york and when you do this and this with your friends you're always posting it because babe me and my friends like that's that's we're not in a relationship me we're just friends. we're having fun and if i want to post it i'm going to post it but i'm not going to post a picture of me and you telling each other down on me on your lap like no exactly yeah. it's like you exactly. just got issues like who, what like you think i'm like doing other people or some shit like that you're not insecure like why is see? it insecure is my question bro hmm? i don't know Cause he got Why do you consider it insecure though? Because a, a picture on Instagram shouldn't define you. Because you're coming at me exactly. about posting my friends and not you. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I'm eating like a savage, but I'm stuck. Um, fair enough. I mean. Oh, we didn't even know what kind of time, what kind of mukbang we're having. We're eating pasta. Italian food, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, because I don't even know what it is. I mean, it's on fire. Yes. Mmm. Yeah. What was I gonna say? You said I said into the food. That too, but um. You know what? In a good way. Like, like you said, mm, like good or mm, like fishy. Empty over there. Take a take a good guess. Like good. good. Okay. Just checking. What do you feel about it? I think I kind of feel the same way as you guys. I think people need to know I'm in a relationship, but they don't have to know who I'm with. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, yep. if I were to post I my agree. significant other in a if I'm in a relationship with, if I wasn't one, um, call at me if you, if you don't. Um, <laughs> if I were to post them, it wouldn't be even of them, it would be like me holding their hand and just saying, yeah, yeah. Like some, some, like, some, you know? some incognito shit. Why is it that when we're in a relationship? Well, like, if you're out to eat, like, and you just want to take a picture of your significant other eating, like, and you just... No, like, you could do that, too, but it's just, like, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be... No. Yeah. I would just post something like this, like, me holding their hand and saying I'm taking the action. Yeah. I avoid a lot of shit on social media. Like, when I'm in a relationship, like, I avoid putting up mad pictures of myself up, because that shit is just trouble. Like, mm -hmm. It's not even... I think the problem with social media is... You either let social media control your relationship right. or you let you control your relationship on social mm -hmm. media. Exactly. Oh. Like, why are you letting a mad people know that you're, that that's your boo and you're taking pictures and you guys are happy? Well, my thing is just like, I don't care if people know I'm with somebody. 
I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm the type of person where, yes, I'm all over social media, but at the same time, when it comes to stuff like that, I like to keep it private. Yeah. And, um, and even if I did post my significant other, if I was with somebody, um, you know, I'm not the type of person to be like, oh, like, I don't care if people start following her. That doesn't piss me off. Because at the end of the day, I trust her for a reason. Mm -hmm. Now, how she responds to these things is how, that's how I go about it. Mm -hmm. Like, if guys are messaging her that I know, my thing is, how are you responding to it? You know what I'm saying? It depends mm -hmm. on how you respond to it. If you respond to them in a way where I feel uncomfortable, then I'm going to be pissy about it. But other than that, I think people just need to respect the fact that it's not that I'm not posting my man because I don't want you bitches. I'm not posting my girl, I'm not po or in your case, your guys' case, I'm not posting mm -hmm. my man because I don't want you bitches all in my DM or in his DMs. Right. It has nothing to do yeah, with that. Shit about when that. girls say they don't want to post their man, it's not because they don't want bitches in the D his DMs. It's because they want to be secure about who they have. Exactly. So you don't want to be out here with a posting your nigga and your niggas out here too. You know what I mean? Fuck that shit. Nigga, they ain't even claiming you and shit. And I'm most definitely not posting nobody that's not posting me. That's why I'm not going to post It's crazy though because. I'm not snitching, I'm not saying no names, but um, last week at the club, while I was leaving, there was somebody I follow on my Instagram, some girl. Mm -hmm. She was posting her man, like on Valentine's Day, all over. And I seen him with another girl leaving the club. Yeah, she was crazy. Nah, I'll rock that nigga. But no, switching the topic, shitty, switching the topic, how y'all feel about the Tristan Thompson? Mm -hmm. Oh, we oh, talked about that. We spoke about huh. it yesterday. That I can't believe it. I really honestly it's truly unreal. How? Happens in the hood all the time. Well, I get it, but man. You're with the most like, family ever. Yeah, like Listen, all I gotta say is this. He left his former ex who was pregnant for Why are we talking about him? We're talking about Jordan. I'm talking about Jordan. Jordan, Jordan is the swole in the situation. Everybody knows he's a stupid ass nigga. Tristan just got problems. I don't put nothing past Tristan. Tristan is a young ass NBA nigga. They already are known to cheating. Not every one of them cheat, but most of them do. Or at least half of them do. Damn. Whatever. He he did what he did. He did what he did the first time. Did you not see the video of him kissing three women or two women at the same time? Mm -hmm. they I don't put nothing past him. Are they? Yes. <laughs> I don't put nothing past him. Jordan is a problem to me. It's crazy how Jordan was. It's crazy. Jordan was supposed to secure, secure that bag with Kylie. Now she can't. Yo, yeah, Jenny cool. sent us a post of, oh, of this girl dancing. It was like trying out to be Kylie. Yo, can you show him? That shit is. It was on Twitter, right? I don't know. I don't use Twitter. It was like this girl. It was like by the poolside. But I'm gonna get more food. I'll be back. Anybody want more? It was a lot of crazy shit. Sure. Look. <laughs> she went hard. Yeah, she did some crazy. <laughs> Look, it says Jordan Wood, Sophia Richie, and Black China at McDonald's right now. <laughs> I would not want to be Black China's friend. Look. <laughs> Look. <laughs> That's the doctor. Yo. I would not want to be Black China. Like, you are you are corn now. Who's gonna wanna hang with you? You got you gonna have no one. China's a straight corn. She's with Soldier Boy now. <laughs> she was with some other nigga two weeks ago. Talking about she lives domestic in violence and shit like that. I can't. How do you go from one nigga to the next? Nigga, I broke my mind. Ask Amber Rose. Nah, she's champion. She's what? Nah. She's champion. She don't give a fuck. Amber Rose don't give a fuck. I never said it was bad she to do that. She you can hop around mind. if you want to. She gets the crown. My thing is, how are you in love like that so fast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's the thing with Amber Rose. It's not like she just no, you know playing around with love. niggas is hot. She's she like, in love with someone else. Baby, Maybe she posting. That's the shit. I'm posting. Don't post. Yeah, Yo, you wanna be a thot thotty all you want. I mean, you can be a thotty all you want, but don't be posting. No, I'm not gonna do that. She, she, she's probably not fucking that man nigga at the same time. You know, she's just fucking with. Well, she's talking at the time, but it's just like, don't post it if you know it's gonna just. You're not, you're not gonna. Well, she was 21, right? She was a 21. Well, I should have helped him with his papel. I love papel. 
But yeah, you see posting? Because like, you don't even know when she's going to last. Posting. Fuck out of here. My thing with Jordan is that she probably been done that. And yeah, then Kama was like, you know what? Today's the day, bitch. Mm -hmm. And she just got cool. I, I, I just, what the fuck? Why does my And she was mad around? comfortable with my people around. That's what I'm saying. Huh. She didn't give a fuck. I'm mm -hmm. slap. So she probably said, I love you. If you're gonna be on some shit, Tati Chachi, you better be like, yo, make sure nobody's there. I'm coming to. For real. <laughs> it's a pop. You know? Oof. That's tough. <laughs> You're fucking annoying. <laughs> Yo, Next video. question. Um, oh, okay, okay. Sorry, guys. The video stopped. Um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, I'm over. Honestly, I don't want to talk about that whole I just want an interview to happen. Yeah, I honestly can't wait to like the Kardashians. You know what's funny? Off, to like, give it a stack, I want it to be from Kim Kardashian. But can I say something? So I had this really quiet coworker. And I looked under one of Jordan's pictures today and my quiet co-worker from one of my ex-jobs was like, you fucking home wrecking ass hoe, stupid hoe. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> like, I was not expecting that. Like, cause you know, like when you follow certain people, like you can see their comment mm -hmm. and shit. So I just went to see like any new comments or whatever. And I see this lady shit. I was like, she's like 40, like she's like almost 50 years old. I'm like, oh my God, home wrecking hoe bitch. I was like, this fucking bitch. Ho ass, crazy bro. That gets me tired. You just seen the ins and outs of all the heartbreaks, and y'all about to be fucking here doing one of the shit. Dumbass bitch. What's the next question, Sabili? Um, oh, excuse me. The next question is um. You can finish eating. Um, just hmm. think of something. I'll finish it off. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> Oh, it's been shit on. Okay. Ma, I like this. It's real kind of weird. I'm only looking for one, not two. This is crazy. Yes, I got. Tell the weekend I put an awful one. Don't say what you were. It's just fire. What? Yeah, y'all love them. Throw it in. What? What it? You know what I'm saying? What it? Taking it like that. She's crying, seriously. <laughs> yeah, if I had to do CPI, you're dying, my nigga, because I'm terrified for no reason. <laughs> I forgot how to do that shit. Nah, she got it. You got it. I got certified. Oh, yeah, daddy, shut up. Are we right back? I'm done. <laughs> and if she's, she's choking, you wouldn't do CPR. <laughs> You'll do this. You do the joke. Hell yeah, on top of me. She said, so yeah, you died. She said, she got to get CPI if you're choking. What's the call, Daddy? Two? This is out of control, yo. Sorry, guys. Daddy's just a fucking. That's only if you're hostile. Well, we're gonna figure it out. I'll push him in the face. Be like, wake up. What are things that you observe when you're on a date with somebody? How they eat, how they chew, how they chew. Their fingernails. I'm good. Their fingernails is 100%. No, they have to be How they chew it when you chew it. When, when people be like, and you're eating mad fast and crazy, get out of here. That shit gets me tight. Yeah, come to the point. Yeah, when they don't use your hands. Yo, when they burp my loud, let's like, go out too. Yeah, if you're, if you're eating a chicken wing, don't put your whole hand around the chicken wing. Ugh. Can you use your two fingers? Why are you even ordering chicken wings? Facts. And the, on the first date. Yo, I went on a date like a couple of weeks ago and he got wings and like Brussels sprouts. Like whatever, I ate some of the Brussels sprouts. But I'm not about to be eating bones the first time we go on a date. Like That's gonna cause you not to get a second date. Chill, so I already got turned off instantly. No, I don't even care that he was eating and it. And if you got so uncomfortable, I wasn't that's comfortable that's to eat it. Freak, that's it. Okay, but <laughs> It doesn't. It he ain't fine. I didn't even give a yeah. shit about how he ate. <laughs> I just, I'm not eating bones. I'm too shy. Hold on, babe. Okay. Take it slow. <laughs> okay. I be getting a salad. But yeah, for real. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay. When I be starving. All right, so it doesn't. Necessarily... And you know what else I noticed? If you got that check at the end, cause I'm not grabbing it, and that's it. All right, but. It doesn't necessarily have to be that type of date where you guys go down out. What if it's like a 
Because a date could be anything. A, uh, oh. Mm. <laughs> But what you talking about? <laughs> when you talk, when you, when you talk to broke bitches, I'm sorry. I, I said grab the chat. Broke bitches. This is what this is a response. Cause wait, so what kind of what kind of day? Or I'm not. You I'm take not, me to a chain restaurant. I'm not concurring with anything they just yeah, said. Yeah, you take me to a chain restaurant with cousins. No, we're talking about. Why we just yeah, but you know, you know, okay, first like, dates. Hold on, first dates are. At least 85% going out to eat. Then going out to dinner. Going out to eat, but I'm just saying, like, okay, what if? Because we're not talking about skydiving and uh, no, and I don't I'm know. not talking about none of that. That's something you do. You got some crazy ass attitude. Well, get correct and get, get on point with your fucking question. All right, so so let me let me ask my question. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go 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 go. All right, so like it doesn't, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a date where you're going out to eat. It could be, I don't know, where you guys are just. You know, just driving around, singing in the car, just talking about stuff. No, I'm a nigga and just chilling. Or it could be. Once I'm driving around, singing with you in the car, you my be, nigga. Or it could be. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what? Or it could be going. Or it could be. Just go go on. Listen. Or it could be. Listen. Or it could be going. <laughs> going to the beach. Going where? Going to the beach and just vibing out there or whatever. <laughs> You better have socks on if you have crazy ass toes. <laughs> All I gotta say is my toes are prettier than my hands. Get out. Okay. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Chow, chow, chow. <laughs> no, nah, nah, nah. If we're going to the beach, I don't know. <laughs> I'm only not even gonna get past my stomach because I'm not about to swim and have salty ass hair with you. Jenny, because then I gotta bring my like, conditioner and be like this. Oh, dear. You know we do that. <laughs> I said, I'm not the one that we're like. <laughs> Yeah, shit, shit. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's change up the question. Sorry, Sabia. You can't think of that video as dumb. No, this video is like, like, uh, like. What is your version of a perfect date? All right, I'll go first. Going out to a nice restaurant. Mm. You don't turn me off with the way you fucking eat, and don't burp it out because I'm be livid. Right. Dad, I'm gonna do something after. Like what? Oh, next Why are you had aggressive? I think the wrong us. Yeah, and then she is not even around us. We're not aggressive as people. You know, come correct. No, you can't come correct because I'm gonna come crazier. So just stay. You know, even people what? in the comments be coming at us with attitude. We don't. We'd be like, what the hell we doing? What? That's crazy. You can't. Alright, you answered yours. Right? What about you two? I'm not even finished. Bye. Nah, I'll be finished. I just I just want to do an activity after and don't be trying to kiss me all thirsty because I'm be living Yeah, we could go to dinner like I don't mind getting like drinks and like some appetizers, but I want to go dancing after Like if I could dance and vibe with you and shit Then it's Liddy Yeah, I like I like that too. Uh, even a perfect uh, <laughs> I like I got a crazier question if you take me even like Like I don't know if we do something like Fun, like if we go, like let's say, roller skating, or a comedy <laughs> show, or, or a comedy show, or a, uh, um, I don't know, some, I don't know, something different, and then we go out to eat. Like, I'm pretty simple. Food. I'm easy to please. Can you yeah. All right. So that one of my favorite dates. One of my favorite dates, though, it doesn't even have to be the first day. It can be whatever. But one of my favorite things is watching a movie at the house and cooking or. My last one, then y'all ask whatever y'all want to ask. Mm -hmm. All right, you meet somebody, and he's like the perfect man. Like he has. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so yeah. What the fuck? All right, all right. I should have. I should have came up with pants today. Like for real. My bad. My bad. My bad. Yeah, you met somebody. Okay. This <laughs> is us Tell me to come correct. Um, 
My next question, my last one is. Um, <laughs> so, why you get them started again? You guys are getting crazy. Then. What's the question? Because I'm trying to know. All right, all right. You meet somebody. He's the perfect man. He has like he's got everything going for him. Mm -hmm. Takes you on a date. Like you guys go on about a few dates, and then it's like everything is good. Like you see, like all right, this is the man I want to marry. And you, and you already said it in your heart. This is the man you want to marry. Yeah, yeah. But y'all having sex for the first time, you find out he has the shrimpy. What you gonna but do? But how are we having sex for the first time and it's a nigga I want to marry? I'm not first of all. <laughs> what is you like? like I'm not gonna say those comments until I fuck him. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> that thing kind of drives me crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> nah, but what? If, I, I'm just saying, like, what if you have sex for the first time, you find out he has a shrimp? Okay, for okay. All right, then he's gone. Okay, so I don't think that would happen to me because I need to get the D. Before I even say that's the man I'm gonna marry, like his D needs to drive me crazy. And his um, because even be nothing. So. Because uh, sex is like very important in a relationship. If you're gonna, because I say the sex thing. is not even good, and then yeah, that's you mean like it's a shrimp, or he or he could work it out. Yeah, like I can't feel it, like a micro. Like you just hear. What about you meet somebody with a micro? <laughs> Wait, what you? What's a micro? Now we about to talk about penises. Yeah, because if, if he got a whatever size, then oh. he could work it. It's like a but if it's little, little, it's <laughs> oh, not little. You might as well be a talking about. We talking about. Nigga. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. So, yeah. type shit, like, if I'm too wet, I'm not going to feel it type shit. What you talking about? Yeah, you could put your pinky in instead and feel that. But. All right, well, yeah, man. There's, 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 right, listen, so then, there's somebody for everybody. So, he'll find love. Right. Okay, so since you guys say that, you know, size matters and stuff, is it wrong for a guy to say he wants a girl with a fat ass and big titties? No, I mean, everybody has a preference. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. Because I'm, not, I'm not saying there's I'm some people like, oh my god, all men want the same thing. They want a girl with a fat no, ass. And big titties. No, 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 they don't. Men really some like men want the same thing. They want a girl with a fat ass. Some men really are particular about the way they want to be treated. All I gotta say is this. Niggas love to just fuck bitches. That doesn't persist yeah, exactly. mean that they, that's their exact Yeah, exactly. Wait, what's wrong with that? I'm saying like that. sometimes, uh, like, like for example, a, a bitch with a I fake ass know. fat ass. Like yeah. men have had all types of women. Doesn't mean like yeah. Good Some men, like, they just want a quick fuck. It's not that they want you for them. Yeah. They just want to fuck. You get what I'm saying? I guess. That's just how I feel. That doesn't mean that this, that's the person he's gonna marry. And that's the type he likes. Okay, so now the next question is: Does it matter if? You're getting with someone, and you know, I, obviously with you, he's he's loyal, or whatever. But you found out that he's had sex with so many women. Would that be a problem? Before me? Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm not asking about your. And I'm not asking. Yeah, yeah right. I don't even ask. And that's something that probably. I'm not asking because down the line, the only question I'll ask is, when was your last relationship? Yeah. And and ask about your relationship and how it ended. That's yeah. it. Yeah. I'm not going back to you fucking. Ask. I don't. I don't. I will say it for myself, but I don't like to be asked no questions. I like to just say it for myself. Yeah, you're not about to, to be yeah. exactly. Yeah. You're not about to be interrogating me. I'll tell you. I'm gonna for sure tell you. But I, when I want to tell you, not not because you want to investigate my whole fucking life. No. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. All right. Want to conclude since we've been talking about like. Yeah. I have, yeah. You, have another question? you have another question. We have one last one. Actually. All right, I yeah. I keep saying that, but I really have. I know, I like these questions. Um, <laughs> get, get, continue to keep laughing. I'm going to think of something. I thought you had you one last question. I do. I'm trying to think of the last one. You're going to say nothing funny. Then. <clears throat> Well, um, <laughs> Why did how I do you feel? How <laughs> yeah. oh, I feel about what? That was so weird. About um, going on a first date with a girl, what turns you off and what turns you on? Um, What turns me off is if she's on her phone the whole time. That's, mm -hmm. But some of us do that because we're nervous. Nah, I don't Yeah, like she, cause you don't have nothing to say sometimes. You better. No, I don't, I don't even. Like, if you don't want her to be on your phone, you better hold that conversation fire. Yes, yeah. because if if they're on your phone, that's me. Cause they're like, oh, so how nine times time. out of ten, most girls that I've been on dates with, and I'm not trying to shoot them down or anything. Most girls that I've been on dates with never start the conversation. So of course, knowing how a girl is and observing her for the first time I meet her, she's gonna be shy within the first ten to thirty minutes. So, mm -hmm. I, so during that time, I have to hold a conversation that's gonna keep her interested for her not to be on the phone. That's why I said yeah. let's it drink. If, if it's a good conne connection instantly, yeah, you won't be on your phone. Honestly, yeah. well, sometimes there's no connection phone, instantly. Though, I just sometimes. throw it. I don't even. Touch sometimes the there's no. But sometimes there's no connection instantly. Sometimes you have to find something in common with that person for them to actually. 
Yeah, right, because it might be like you're shy, you're not, you don't know, you don't want to open up with something. But definitely, being on your phone definitely um, turns me off a lot, especially if, because first impressions matter for me. Mm -hmm. Um, Being on your phone, whether whatever we're doing, it doesn't matter whether we're at a carnival, whatever the case may be, being on your phone is definitely number one. Um, Another thing that bothers me too is just being loud. I don't like someone who's loud. Facts. Sorry, Jenny. Um, Nigga. What? What do you mean, sorry, Jenny? Sorry, Jenny. Jenny knows how to act. She is loud. She is she knows how to act. We all I'm know not how to saying. Act. <laughs> not what are you saying? I'm saying you loud. What does that mean? I'm trying to pick a fight. What's up? Uh, loud where? On a date? Outside. You never been on a date. You said no. Nah, I've never been on a date. Okay, so. Alright then. Loud? No, we are not. Stop loud. playing loud. around. So what turns We're you on? Like? What turns me? Oh, oh, I have one more thing that turns me on. Um, I cannot, and I'm sorry, because I'm a guy who, who's gonna approach you if you physic if I'm attracted to you. I cannot talk to you if I'm not attracted. That's to you. a fact. I agree. Yeah. A lot of people say, "Oh, personality." No, no attraction I first, personality. Yeah. I gotta look at your jeans. Like how you're dressed, how you're looking, that matters to me more than anything. And then once I see the fact that you look good to me, then I'm gonna approach you and see how your personality is. If that shit is trash, I'm gonna keep it moving. And That's sometimes, and sometimes you meet people who are like. Pretty decent looking. You don't. Yeah, know. those. I have and no then you get to if know I find you cute, know. that's a part of me being attracted to you. I'm still so laughing at what you said mm-hmm. about me being loud. I'm continue, about continue laughing because I'm not gonna explain to you why. Um, what turns? What? <laughs> this nigga's bugging. Yeah, right I now. think you're fucking bugging. You need to chill the fuck out because I will cuss you the fuck out. I know you will. Okay, I'm just letting you know. God but continue. Anyways. Um, the other thing that turns, one thing that turns me off for sure is I cannot be with someone who, who does not. Who's not? How do I say? Is it hygienic? Is that is that a yeah. word? Mm-hmm. Hygienically up there, like who does not take care of themselves? I mean, I get that there's gonna be days where you could bum it out. That's fine. Um, but I guess good teeth matters to me. Um, definitely a nice smile, but stuff like that, little stuff like that, taking care of yourself, mm-hmm. hy- hygiene is really <laughs> a big thing for me, for sure. Yeah, hygiene yeah. is very important. Mm-hmm. I think that's that's a main one for me too. Um, you gotta look nice. But yeah, guys, that concludes our video today. Um, thank you, Sylvia, for being with us. Um, this video is super, super long. Sorry, we mm-hmm. just have a lot of opinions. Um, if you guys want more videos like this, please comment them. Comment more ideas down below. Yeah. Um, <coughs> please be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Niggas, gang, gang, gang.